Well, welcome to the old classic car channel and today's brochure review is for the classic Bedford PC vans uh, circa 1949 which is the date of this particular brochure. Uh, the JC which was its predecessor but looked almost identical to this was actually introduced in 1939 but didn't continue in production for very long because of the war. Um, but the PC was basically an evolution of the JC, the roof line was raised slightly uh, the JC continues m closer to the top of the door and goes back along here. But the PC, half ton van, which is what we have here, uh, had a slightly higher roof line to enable larger loads to be carried. And this particular brochure dates to 1949. Uh, it's for the half ton light delivery van, the seven seater utility van, and the utility van ambulance, because of course it wasn't just a van version that uh, Bedford produced, um, there were other derivatives as well which this brochure will describe inside. So let's have a look at the Bedford PC van brochure for the late 1940s. Okay, The Bedford PC light van. This of course was the forerunner of the Bedford CA which came along in 1952. Uh, whereas this was very much pre-war design, uh, sort of uh, warmed over for the post-war era. The CA was a, a new sheet of paper, really. Um, but this is the PC light van, designed by the engineers responsible for the famous range of Bedford trucks. The Bedford half-ton van has won a lasting reputation as a sturdy, reliable light van with outstanding running costs. This new edition has the same well-proved basic design and smart, attractive lines, together with a number of useful improvements and refinements. Foremost among the features is an entirely new synchromesh gearbox with the gear lever mounted on the steering column. Gear changing is made easier than ever with the gear lever in this position, i.e. on the steering column. The JC was a floor change and uh, with the handbrake lever inverted under the dash, the centre gangway is left entirely clear so that the driver can enter or leave conveniently by either door. Other improvements include 12 volt electrical equipment, quick action balanced direct lift windows, which like all doors are lockable, and an improved door lock. Uh, mentions a little bit about the fuel, very light on fuel thanks to the efficient engine design incorporating a special Vauxhall system of six phase carburetion. Loading space 110 cubic feet, additional 10 cubic feet is available beside the driver. Uh, body construction, the front end, up to and including the doors, all metal construction. The remainder framed in hardwood with steel panelling. The roof slatted and covered with waterproof leather cloth. Over the page we have a fantastic illustration of a standard PC van. A few years ago I bought some Bedford Utes from Australia. One was a JC and two were PCs. And they were like a pickup, an integral pickup bodywork which wasn't offered in this country, it was an Australian bodied, locally bodied creation for that particular market. We never got them in this country. But the vans, they sold reasonably well back in the day. It was a rival to the Austin A40 van and the Ford E83W, or the E83W was fairly pensionable in comparison to this. The, uh, the Ford had a 10 horse 1172 side valve engine and was very, very pre-war in feel. Whereas this did feel a little bit newer, and it had an overhead valve, four-cylinder engine, and it was probably a better, a better vehicle, really. So, let's carry on and see what else is available in this particular catalogue. It's, it is in colour, but not too many colours. And over here, we have the Bedford seven-seater utility van which was basically a van with windows let into it, the rear one sliding. Uh, this appears to have like a wood grain effect, although well, that could just be a bit of artistic license rather than the actual vehicle itself. It could be used as a two-seater, with the, and you could also fold the passenger seat flat and have all the other seats flat in the floor. You could have four-seater, but still with lots of uh, cargo space, or a full seven-seater, an original MPV if you like. Uh, utility van, I suspect that's something to do with Martin Walter, who did a lot of conversions on commercial vehicles back in the day, made them into campers, ambulances, estates, crew bus, minibus type conversions and so on. And over the page we have a rear view of the utility van. The car of a hundred uses. 
readily convertible from two-seater to four-seater or up to seven-seater. The Utila van provides comfortable accommodation for passengers with room for luggage. When passengers are not carried, the seats fold into the floor, leaving the entire body space free for loads. Here we go. The Utila van is the joint product of Vauxhall Motors Limited and Martin Walter Limited. I mean, what a handy vehicle that is. You've got all the carrying capacity of the 10 hundredweight half-ton van. Um, but the extra practicality with windows in here, which also made it a lot easier to reverse. So even if you used it as a van all the time, just by having side windows, it didn't make manoeuvring so much easier. And of course we've got some young ladies sat in here on the seats, showing the, uh, the modest cargo space that was available if all the seats were in use. But it was a very flexible design and a very useful vehicle. I don't know how many, if any, of these util vans survive anymore. One or two vans are around, but I don't know if many of these... Uh, People carrier versions are still about, they'll be interested to know. This, glo this bloke here, he almost looks a little forlorn as if he can't quite get in. Uh, we're at a railway station, you can just see LNER on the wall and a poster of an old steam locomotive. So I'm not quite sure where that was, but I'm guessing it was somewhere down near Luton. So let's carry on. It continues with the more details of the Utila van version. A car of 100 uses. Here are some of the 100 uses to which utility vans are being put to in daily service. As a general utility vehicle on country estates, as a station bus and supply wagon by hotels, as a hire car, as a delivery van during the day and comfortable passenger car in leisure hours by retail tradesmen. Commercial travellers find the utility van eminently suitable for the carriage of bulky or fragile samples. Farmers use it to carry fodder, market produce, milk, livestock and farm gear. The Utila van will accommodate an invalid chair and so give disabled people a chance to enjoy motoring again. The Utila van has received official recognition by the police, by the Admiralty, by the Ministry of Education and various council, county councils. Owing to present difficulties in paint supplies, it is not possible to provide the wood grain finish shown in the photographs in this booklet. For the time being, all Utila vans are being finished in plain beige cellulose. And here we have some internal views of the seating arrangements, uh, carrying capacity being demonstrated by this gent and uh, an assortment of young ladies. As a two-seater it has ample space behind to carry a full 1200 weight load. As a four-seater there is still plenty of baggage space behind the intermediate seat and if desired two bicycles can be carried. With all the seats raised there is comfortable room for seven adults. The body has steel panelled sides with wide double doors at the rear. There are deep windows in both front doors. The front windows and the sides of the body are fixed. The rear side windows are glazed in two pieces, one of which is fixed and the other slides open. There are large windows in the rear doors. All windows are of safety glass. All doors are lockable. The near side and rear doors by the ignition key, the off side by a lever inside the door handle. The floor is covered in good quality liner with steel half round wearing strips. The side panels are fitted with Rexine covered ply panels on the interior. Painting, body, bonnet, wings and wheels are finished in beige cellulose. We've got some dimensions and weights down there. Now we have the ultimate development of the utility van as the all-purpose ambulance no less. As an ambulance the Bedford utility van adds yet another purpose to an already wide range of uses. It retains its usefulness as an all-purpose vehicle for carrying medical supplies, stores and equipment. It can be converted in a few moments to take five sitting cases as well as an attendant and the driver. And when the need arises it can be used for one stretcher case with an attendant seated alongside the patient and with room for another attendant or a sitting patient beside the driver. With independent suspension and double acting shock absorbers to smooth out rough roads, the Bedford PC chassis is particularly suitable for ambulance work. Its sturdiness and freedom from jarring is appreciated by patients and doctors alike. Low in first cost and particularly economical in running costs, the Utila van has the added economy of all round utility, one vehicle doing the work of three. And the photographs on this page show the simplicity of the ambulance conversion. And here we have it unloaded and uh, uh, a model here uh, demonstrating the slide on ramp to get inside the vehicle folding seat and there's an attendant with the, the patient looking forward to their ride in the back of a Bedford PC over on the rear page we have the van specification 
four cylinder overhead valves in detachable head, 12 horsepower rating, which was the RAC rating, not brake horsepower. Brake horsepower was 35 at 3200 RPM. And the running gear was very similar to the Vauxhall's saloons of the day. That's where the four cylinder engine was shared. We've got 68 pounds feet of torque at only 1800 RPM. So it's quite a, quite a luggy, useful engine. You don't have to rev it to get the best out of it. Details of engine lubrication, the electrics 12 volt, the previous JC was 6 volt. Uh, petrol, cooling system, clutch gearbox, rear axle frame, suspension, steering, the brakes, uh, hydraulic Lockheed all round, wheels and tyres, 17 inch wheels, standard equipment, head and side lamps with dipper switch, combined stop and tail lamps, indirectly illuminated instrument panel with speedometer in miles or kilometres, front bumper, windscreen wiper, rear vision mirror, toolkit, complete tyre equipment with spare wheel and tyre. And this particular brooch dates to November of 1949. And that is the Bedford PC light van of the post-war years, forerunner of the Bedford CA. I hope that was of interest. There's quite a lot of commercial vehicle content on this channel now. So if this kind of thing is a sort of vehicle that you're interested in, please have a look at the other videos on the channel. Give this one a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you click the little notifications bell, you're able to set an alert that will advise you every time there's a new video uploaded. Um, so thanks for your time, thanks for watching, please stick around and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.